Welcome to Make Well with Smartwood. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a back stitch. It's similar to the running stitch, but this is a continuous line. I'm using the teaching aid that I did with the running stitch for students that struggle to sew and watch the demonstrations when I use fabric and a normal needle. So I'm using hard with holes punched out. And instead of a needle, I'm using a pencil with it taped on with a thread or wool yarn taped onto it. Okay, let's do it. Let's get stitching. Let's get sewing. And just put a little knot in. I do a little quick granny knot. There you go. There you go. Obviously, if you're sewing, you would do the anchor stitch. I'm just going to put this through my pencil. So, we're going to act like this pencil is the needle, and that's the eye of the needle. So, I've just tied the thread. This is just wool yarn. So today, I'm going to do a back stitch. So, it's similar to the running stitch, where there's a continuous line. So, we're going to start off again. It's knotted at the beginning. I'm probably going to go through the hole now because it's all thick and bulky. There you go. And the pencil is acting like the needle. If it gets all tangled, there you go. Look at that. Perfect. So, it's like the running stitch. We're going to leave a gap. So, we're going to go from behind and then stop it from getting all tangled up. There you go. So what we're going to do now, with the running stitch, you would continue the thread into that hole and then leave a gap. But what we're going to do is we're going to go backwards. So now don't go forward. I'm now going to go back into the same hole. And then put it through. And there you go. You've got your continuous line. And again, what we're going to do then from behind, we're going to go to the next hole. Go through. Look at that. There you go. You get it, don't you? You get it. You get it. And again, so I'm not going to go from the front because that's going to be messy. It's going to get all tangled. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to go from behind. And then. And where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Are we going to go that way? No, we're going to go back in the hole to make that continuous line of thread. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the last one, from behind, and then backwards. Look at that, continuous line, look at that, it's beautiful. And that is your back stitch, and that's what it looks like from behind. I think the card is a great visual resource for creating the back stitch, so you can clearly see and understand the technique. And the holes are acting as a guide, keeping the stitches even and the spaces even as well. Even if you don't have needle and threads and materials at home, you could still create the sample stitch by using paper, card and punching some holes in it and just securing some wool or string to a pencil and then following my tutorial. And this is a little clip from one of my sewing tutorials creating the back stitch using needle and thread and material so you can see what it looks like and so you can see how I'm sewing back into the same hole creating that lovely continuous stitch line. Thank you for watching Make Well With Smart Well. I've just completed the back stitch demonstration. I hope you found it easy. Please let me know in your comments below what you thought of the stitch and the demonstration and give me some suggestions of videos to, for recipes to make or some sewing projects or let me know your thoughts on what I should do next. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.